Hey yo, welcome back to a brand new video ladies and gentlemen. How have you guys been? Okay, today we got a super exciting one. We got Benny joining us today. We got Simon joining us today. It's gonna be absolutely fantastic. The plan for today is to head out to the bush. We're gonna try to find some place to camp. I got a place in mind. It's this beautiful looking uh, shack that someone built out on public land so anybody can use it. That's what we're planning on heading. After that, we're gonna head out, try to do some shed hunting. We're gonna do our best. It's gonna be my first time ever doing shed hunting, so I don't exactly think we'll find anything, but fingers crossed, maybe we will. So yeah, we're gonna head out, do some shed hunting. After some shed hunting, we're gonna take me and Benny. We're gonna head back to the truck. We're planning on going out to do some goose hunting because we're gonna need supper for the next morning. So that's the plan. We're headed out to do some goose hunting, which is gonna be so freaking fun it's some early spring goose so it should be pretty easy as well so that's the plan and after we got some goose down on the ground if we get any down on the ground we're gonna head out head back to our camping spot probably go to bed because it'll be late and then after that the next morning we got to cook up this goose and we're planning on eating the stomach so apparently it's super good I have had goose stomach in the past before it's pretty chewy but other than that it's pretty good but I just wanted to record myself eating it on camera for you guys in case you guys have never tried the stomach of a goose but it actually does taste really really good so if you guys have never tried it I do recommend it I'll show you guys what I do with it today so if you guys are interested in watching me eat a goose's stomach make sure you guys stay tuned till the end and if you guys do enjoy videos like this don't forget to hit that good old subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up me Benny and Simon got to pack up some stuff because we're planning on doing a 24-hour challenge out in the woods so we're gonna load up the truck we got to get the four-wheeler on the truck and then we're headed out to the woods so once we're all packed up, we'll see you guys in the woods. We've made it into the bush and we're gonna go out, find a nice little camping spot and we're gonna be camping. But as you can see, we just arrived. We got the four wheeler, we gotta unload it real quick. And then me and Benny and little guy Simon over there, we're gonna head out to this nice little cabin and we're gonna get set up. Try to have a nice day in the woods. It's beautiful weather today. It's positive 16 degrees right now. So we could literally be in sweaters, t-shirts. It's gonna be absolutely amazing. So you guys stay tuned. We're gonna unload the four wheeler. Then we're gonna all hop onto it. And we're gonna head into the deeper into the bush. Try to find a nice little camping spot and then we'll catch up with you guys. Okay, well, we finally made it. It took us a lot longer than I thought it would. It's about 12.41 in the morning. I, yeah, I guess in the afternoon right now. That was a long ride. It was only supposed to take us like 15, 20 minutes, but it turned into a 45 minute ride. The road was so rough. And with three people on the quad, you can't go as quick because it's just uncomfortable. So we took our time, but we finally made it. Check it out where we're staying. That's right. We got the quad. We got little Simon. We got this nice little shack. Got some wood there. And then I'll show you guys the inside right away. But our fire pit's gonna be over there. By the way, I don't know who owns this. This is just like on public land to use for anybody. You don't have to rent it out or anything. It's just like first come, first serve pretty much. But check it out, we're inside now. It's a little dark in here, but check it. It's pretty nice actually. So you got yourself a fireplace, some firewood, and then you got yourself one bench, another bench, a bench here, and then it kind of like 90s over. So, and you got yourself a nice little eating spot. You got some pans and stuff. We brought our own pan, but I guess they have some extra ones if we want to cook some more stuff. And then they have like a nice window up front. They got some chairs out there. You can sit and eat through there while the food is being served. And then, yeah, other than that, they got like just stuff where you can hang up your jacket. So if you guys know where the location of this is, it's just open to anybody to just step by. Just make sure you clean up all your garbage at the end of the day take it all back home with you. And if you do use the firewood that is here, you have to bring some of your own firewood to replace it eventually. So don't just be the people that use the firewood and never bring any back. Make sure you guys always return the firewood if you guys are using, I guess, the owners that built this. But other than that, we gotta go unload, get our beds ready and everything for this evening. And we're starting the morning off doing some shed hunting. So me, Benny and Simon, we're gonna take a couple of hours. We're gonna go to the other side of the woods where we know there's some bedding areas of deers and we're gonna do some shed hunting and hope that we can find some deer antlers. That's the plan at least. So yeah, and then after we're done doing that, we're gonna get back here, we're gonna pick up some guns and then we're gonna head back to the truck and we're gonna go find a nice spot where we can do some goose hunting. So it's gonna be an absolutely amazing day. That's the plan for us, but we're gonna get everything off the quad into the little shackle, excuse me. 
And then we're gonna hop back onto the quad and since there's gonna be less stuff, we can go a little quicker. We're gonna go do some shed hunting. So you guys stay tuned. We're gonna go unload everything and then we'll catch up with you guys again. <laughs> okay guys, check it out. So we just got our bags right here with our, all of our food in it and stuff. And then we got Benny's, I mean Simon's bed right here. He'll be sleeping there, maybe a little bit more. And then I'm gonna be sleeping this way. Then Benny gets his own little bed. He's got a blanket, a pillow right there. I forgot a blanket for myself, but I, I got some good clothes and then I brought extra ski pants and stuff so I can use that as covered if it does get cold. Plus we have a fireplace over here and it's not gonna be cold during the night at all. So it's still gonna be in the positives. And since this whole building's insulated, I'm not even worried about being cold. So I'll probably just use my ski pants as a pillow and then those two will be sleeping nice and comfortable. But yeah, other than that, let's get out and do some shed hunting. Just for a little bit, okay? No. We made it to our spot where we're gonna go and try to find some deer sheds. We parked the quad right here. We found some deer poop right where Simon almost stepped already. And then Benny's ready to go, Simon's ready to go. We just winched the quad to this tree just because there is a road pretty close to there and people will see this quad. I'm just not saying anyone would, but just in case someone would try to push it away, at least we got a bit of time because we are planning on walking pretty far into the bush. So you guys stay tuned. I'm gonna put on a GoPro, start walking. And if we stumble upon something, we'll let you guys know. So yeah, Simon's gonna put on his boot real quick and then we're gonna head into the woods and hopefully we spot something. <laughs> Not a single antler, huh? Another one, up another. Around, can you see antlers? Look that way. What do you see? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Check it out. We got Simon trying to climb up a tree right now. There's a nice tree stand over here if you check way up there. And then there's just this massive swamp over there. So that's kind of what we're trying to walk through. But Simon wanted to get an up high view just to see if he could see anything. but. Said there's nothing around, so we're gonna try to get him back down and we're gonna keep walking. Keep going. Ah. You tired? Yeah. Man, we're walking through this entire swamp right now. Here, check it out. Just like water everywhere, but we're on land. It's not super deep, which is nice, but I would have thought there was at least gonna be a couple antlers around here, but we haven't found anything yet. So we're headed into those trees right now, hoping that we can spot some over there. We've walked quite the distance already, but we gotta keep going because we haven't found anything. But okay. This has been an adventure, eh? Look at Simon, watch out for those holes. He's been making it along the way, just carrying him here and there, just over the puddles and stuff. Other than that, he's been doing good, so we're gonna keep going. Alrighty, peeps, we've made it into the trees, as you can see now. Simon's over there looking. Okay, well, we've made it back to the quad. Unfortunately, we found absolutely no antlers. Oh, Simon's still on his way. He almost made it. Are you tired, Simon? Yeah. yeah, I bet you are. We walked quite the distance, but the reason we came back already is because if you check the time here, it's almost 5 p.m. So we still gotta go goose hunting and shooting light ends at about 8.30, I wanna say. So we gotta drive about 15 minutes back to the truck. Then we gotta hop into the truck and drive another 20, 25 minutes until we get to our destination where there's this beautiful swamp. It's probably still gonna be frozen over, so. That's the plan. We're gonna get back onto the quad, go to the truck, and then we gotta change clothes in there as well because we gotta get more camo so we can hide inside of the brush that they have out there. So that's the plan now. We're gonna head out goose hunting. Unfortunately, we found no antlers, like I said. Simon's tired. 
Benny's probably pretty tired too, at least I am. So yeah, that's the plan now. We gotta get to the truck. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, we made it back to the truck. We got the four wheeler there. I'm planning on just going down this trail here where there's like hardly any people that go there. And then to the right, there should be a nice little parking spot. That's where we're gonna leave the four wheeler until we're back from goose hunting. But me and Benny, we gotta quickly change and then we're headed out to the swamp. So it's about a 25 minute drive, give or take, depending on whatever road conditions, which they should be perfectly clear. So yeah, no worries there, but we're gonna see you guys when we get to the swamp. So enjoy the goose hunt once we're there. <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen, we've made it. As you can see, we're just on this big pond or I guess swamp, so fully frozen. As you guys can see, we got our decoy right, decoys right here. We only brought four because that's really all you need for this spring season, at least in my opinion. It's like as soon as they see a group of geese, they'll just come. It's also super windy outside right now, which is unfortunate. So I don't know how well you guys can hear me, but I'm hoping good. So I apologize about the wind. But yeah, like I said, we got our spread right there about 20 yards in front of us. And then we're gonna be sitting in these weeds here. We got our chairs that we'll be setting up over here. And then after that, we gotta start calling some geese and hopefully we can shoot ourselves supper. So we're gonna get our structure set up, get hidden underneath, and then I'll show you guys what it looks like. And we're gonna start calling and hoping some geese show up. But yeah, like I said, it's pretty crazy though. Check this out. You're just walking on straight ice and like there's spots where you can like see straight through like here it's not thick at all so kind of sketchy but hey we made it work it was a fun little adventure now it's time to get hunting so you guys stay tuned and let's start shooting <coughs> circle there's two in front two in front just don't move yeah boys we got two coming in three two shoot them what what all right well uh i don't want to talk about it but that was horrible shooting so we're gonna try once again, try calling some geese and hopefully we can get one down on the ground. I won't disappoint you guys on the next shot. That was just, I don't even know what happened. <laughs> Okay, you take the left, I take the right. Bling cheeks, man! Huh? Let's go, boys, finally. Two came in so nice. We let them land just because we wanted to guarantee our shot, because apparently we don't have a good shot. So he came in, landed perfectly. Benny took the left one, I took the right one. Unfortunately, Benny did just about miss his shot and the guy got away, but then I smoked mine. He dropped on the spot. So that was absolutely awesome. Let's go, we got some supper. We're gonna try to get one or two more. We're gonna keep calling. I'm gonna show you guys this goose and then we're gonna sit down and keep calling. As you can see, Benny went and got that goose. I tried walking over there. Holy smokes, the ice is so skinny. Like, I fell through back there where we're sitting and I got absolutely soaked, but it's dried up now. So I couldn't go and get that goose. Luckily, Benny got him, but we got to get back to our spot. Check him out right here. Just a beautiful looking thing. We're gonna go sit down and try to shoot at least one or two more. Nice! Nice! Crazy! Let's go, dude! The shotgun is just <laughs> Shoot him! Shoot him! Shoot him! Quick! 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 Nice! 
Nice! Crazy! Let's go! Guys, there is no way. I really hope I got that on camera. Did you see? They like were about to land and they just took off and Benny smoked both of those absolutely beautiful shots. He missed his when they were sitting on the ground, but as soon as they just started flying quick, he absolutely just hit his shots perfectly. What a guy. He's off to go get them right now. I can't quite walk there because I'm a little heavy, but I'm going to be right behind him just so he doesn't fall in. And if he does, I'll just pull him out because the swamp isn't too deep. So that's why I'm not worried if we do fall in. So give me a second. I'm going to go follow him down, get these geese, and then we'll catch up with you guys. Okay, well, as you can see, we made it back to our nice little shack over there. We got the three geese just laying right there, just chilling. We're gonna start packing things up. We got about 20 minutes left of shooting light, but since we already got our three geese and that's all we need for supper or for to eat later, we're gonna call it a night and we're gonna start packing stuff up, head back, and then we're gonna catch up with you guys when we're at the truck. I'm just super happy that Benny absolutely smoked those geese. That was awesome. So yeah, Benny got his two geese, I got one. We're gonna be eating good tonight. I'm super excited. So you guys stay tuned and we're gonna get packed up and head back. It's absolutely amazing. Benny got some freaking wild shots. That was great. That's gonna be it for us hunting. We're gonna head back to the lodge and we'll see you guys there. All right, boys. Well, as you can see, we've made it back to the shack. It's freaking late. It's almost like 10 p.m. So me, Benny and Simon, we're all exhausted. So we're gonna call it a night. As you can see, we've made it back to the shack. I'm just using my phone here as a light, but as you can see, we're back at the shack. So we're gonna be calling it a night. We got Simon, he's ready, ready to get to bed. I gotta still set up his, uh, what's it called? Pillow and blanket again, because when we left the spot, we did take it with us because we didn't, because anyone can come here. So we just took our stuff. So I just gotta go get that quick. And then same as for Benny over there, he's just sleeping or getting ready for it. I just gotta get him his pillow. And then I'm gonna have to go get myself my ski pants, of course and try to fall asleep as well. So we're gonna see you guys in the morning once we're awake and it's nice and bright out. So that's the plan. We're gonna go head to bed. Oh, also one more thing. We didn't bring all three geese here. We left two of the geese in the truck and we only brought one here just because we don't think we're gonna eat that much goose meat with worth three geese, of course. So we just brought one goose here for tomorrow morning when we're gonna be nice and hungry. So yeah, I'm exhausted. We're gonna call it a night and we'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, people. As you can see, I ended up using my ski pants as a pillow, but Simon, are you awake? Yeah. Yeah, Benny, you awake too? Yeah. How'd you guys sleep? Good. Good? All right. Okay, well, I think it's about 10 in the morning right now. I'm still super tired. We got back super late last night, so I'm a bit tired, but we also didn't eat much yesterday, so. I think it's time to get up, start cooking some breakfast, get these two some food, and then I gotta eat myself because I'm super hungry and pretty exhausted from yesterday, but we got a couple hours left, so we're gonna make breakfast, and then that should be it for 24 hours. So you guys stay tuned. We're gonna cook up that goose, make a couple of extra things. So let me just get up, and then these two will get out. We'll start a fire and cook up some breakfast. So I'm gonna get the fire going. I just got some paper underneath, nice dry pieces of small wood, so. We're gonna attempt to get this fire going first try here. If this lighter works. Come on. Oh yeah. Just gotta get the right angle. There we go. Little shack, but as you can see, our fire's slowly starting to go. I'm super excited. And now we're gonna get this fire going a little bit bigger. We need some ash. And then in the meantime, I'm gonna cut up that goose from yesterday. And hopefully it turns out nice. We brought some eggs as well, some cucumbers. So we should have a nice good old breakfast. But as soon as this fire is big enough, we're gonna get to cook. Look at this. Now we're talking guys, the fire is going. We got the goose right over here. Benny soaked the shoes a little bit, so he's just letting those dry in the sun. He's got some rubber boots on right now. We're gonna give Simon his rubber boots right away as well, so he doesn't make his uh, shoes soaking wet. But we got the fire going, got the goose right there. I'm gonna cut this goose up. We're gonna try to get out the stomach and then just the two breasts, and that's what we're gonna be eating. And then we'll prepare some eggs and other stuff like I said before, so you guys stay tuned. Let me just clean up this goose, and then I'll show you guys what we're all eating. All right, well, check it out. We got the two breasts right here. We got one. And then we got the other one right here. Nice clean looking meat, we just gotta wash it. And then I wanted to show you guys this right here. 
This is a goose stomach. I don't know if you guys have ever seen this before or eat this at all, but this is what a goose stomach looks like and this is probably some of the best meat inside of a goose. You just cut it up into small pieces, but yeah, we just gotta wash this and then we're gonna cut it up into small pieces and I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's nice and cooked. I'm just gonna show you guys what I'm doing with the stomach here. I'm gonna do the, pretty much the same thing with the breasts. I'm just gonna cut them into smaller chunks, just a couple pieces so each of us can eat some, but I'll show you guys what I do with the stomach. So since you got two parts here, just go right in the middle, cut it in half, boom. Now you got your two pieces. And then what you're gonna wanna do, it's, just, it's usually easier on a hard top, but all I got is this. And then I literally just go and cut it into small chunks like this. And then if you actually look on the inside, it's actually just a bunch of meat. And then this is the stomach part, but it's nice and clean and washed, so it's perfectly good meat. Oh yeah, it's cooking. I'm excited to eat this, I'm so hungry. Yesterday, if you guys were wondering what we ate literally all day, we had some pieces of bread with like sausage on it and then we had some pepperoni sticks and stuff like that. So having an actual meal today is going to feel amazing. So I'm excited. We also had a bunch of snacks yesterday throughout the day. So it's not like we were starving, but I'm excited to have a proper meal today. So can't wait for this to be cooked up. Alrighty, well, Benny and Simon plates ready as you can see over there. Benny's eating, he didn't want an egg, so he's just got cucumbers, a little bit of pieces of meat, and then, what, got a dry piece? Yeah. Yeah, and then Simon's got himself an egg over here, got his meat, got his cucumbers, so his plate's looking absolutely fantastic. So, yeah, the meat, since we let it sit for a little bit, it's a little dry, so you kind of have to like peel it off, but it's not bad at all, eh? Let's watch Simon take a nice little bite there whenever he's ready that's the stomach it's a little hard there you go but it's nice and soft the stomach yeah not bad good and same as Benny over there good that's what I like to hear I guess my cooking isn't that bad I've been practicing so I'm gonna fry myself up an egg and then I'll be eating myself if you check it out right here I got my plate got myself an egg some cucumbers and then you got yourself the meat of course I got the most meat but hey, I probably won't eat every single piece, but I'll try. I'm gonna start off with the stomach right here though. It is chewy, that's what Benny and Simon have been saying, that it's very chewy, but it tastes amazing. So I'll give it a little bite here. It's pretty hard too, but it just tastes so good. Like I've had goose stomach before, so I already know what it tastes like, but it's just unreal. It's just that it's very chewy. I made the pieces. Yeah, now it's gonna be chewy too, because I took a big piece. I think I just cut the pieces a little bit too thick. If you make them thinner, they would just be unbelievably good. So, yeah, I'm going to be eating this up. Wow. That was the last bite. Check it out. My plate's empty. Everyone else's ate theirs. They're just kind of goofing around, chopping some wood. Simon is over here doing their thing. That was absolutely amazing, but it's about 2.33 in the afternoon now so i think we're gonna call it a day we've been here just over 24 hours getting close to 27 hours now so we're gonna clean this entire site up pack everything back into the quad and we're gonna head back to the truck and go home because i'm getting a little bit tired i bet they're getting a little tired after being here for just a day a little over a full day so yeah we're gonna pack everything up and then we're gonna head back home because that was absolutely amazing food but we're all getting a little bit tired, so hope you guys enjoyed. That being said, guys, we're gonna pack everything up now, take everything out of the shed, like I said just a couple seconds ago, pick up all our garbage, but that should conclude today's video. We're gonna head back, I'm getting tired, get to the truck and go home. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you guys give it a good old thumbs up, especially since Simon was able to join us on this adventure and he had a super fun time, right, Simon? Mm -hmm. Did you have fun? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That didn't seem like he had too much fun, but I promise you guys he did. So make sure you guys hit that thumbs up button. Give this channel a subscribe if you guys want to see more videos like this. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.